<laughs> we just got out here and uh, I just missed my first fish and that was a pretty good fish. I'm giving it probably three to four pounds and it was right next to the bank. I was just about to air up my tube and uh, go fish this island out there that I fished before and lost some pretty good fish at. But that's telling me some good stuff. They're definitely shallow, definitely close to cover and uh, seems like the frog's working. So we're gonna probably have some fun today. Let's do it. Yo, what is going on, Fredsters? Long time no see. I know I'm not gonna make up excuses. I just haven't been making any content. And uh, yeah, it's been hot, whatever. I'm not making up any excuses. That's my fault. I could be doing little small videos at the house, but I just haven't. If you guys would like to see some videos like that, maybe like some knot tying stuff, little simple videos like that, whenever I do have some downtime when I'm not fishing so much, let me know in the comments down below if I should do little videos like that just at the house. You know what I mean? Just little videos, little techniques or whatever. And uh, yeah, I haven't been fishing in about a week. It's Friday today and the last time I went fishing was Saturday, last Saturday. So I'm super excited to get out here right now. And uh, I got some, something really cool I got um, yesterday with my wife we were at Dick's Sporting Goods and we, I saw this kit excited to use it today so when we get out of the car we'll I'll show you what I'm talking about yeah six days so that might not seem like a long time to you guys but for me it feels like forever but we're out here at the pond this little city pond right here next to the highway and uh, last time like I said last time was I fished was last Saturday I went to this cool spot up north a little bit with my buddy Jay and I lost a couple big fish so that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna talk about some stuff I learned when I was in the float tube that probably cost me a new PB if possible whatever we'll talk about it in a little bit and I'm gonna show you this new thing we got I'm super excited and if we catch some fish today that's a bonus so let's just go it's super hot today I don't know how hot it is. When we get out of the truck, we'll check, but it's probably definitely over 100 degrees. We're at the pond. Let's get it. All right, Fredsters, it's a little bit windy here. It seems to always be windy here at this pond, and sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. But we're gonna do the we're gonna do the talking inside the truck because it's a little loud out there. Oh, my my wife and I were at um, Dick Sporting Goods yesterday. We went out to eat and uh, it was right next to the place we went to eat. So I convinced her to go in there with me to go about some stuff. And I saw this cool thing and it was the last one on the shelf. So we got it. I know they have a lot of like, at Walmart and stuff, they have like these beginner kits, like worm kits, lizard kits, Texas rig kits, you know what I mean? Crankbait kits or whatever, just starter kits. But I've never seen this kit before. We got the Strike King Rage and Perfect Plastic Kit. Comes with six different type of baits and it's from the Strike King Rage and Perfect Plastic line. Super cool. So I've only used two of those lures before in that box and that's what I'm excited about because I've been wanting to use the Rage Minish Grub, the Twin Tail, the Rage Bug, and uh, yeah, they're in there. And that's cool that it came in that pack. We also got a top water soft body toad. It's called the Gurgle Toad. And then we got a Raid Swimmer, a five inch KVD Ocho, like a stick bait. And then we got the Rage Crawl. And then the Miniscribs in there, and the Rage Bugs in there too. Comes with some awesome colors. I wish that Rage Crawl was a di different color, but it's still a really cool kit. For the price, I think it was only 24 bucks, 24.99, and there's 42 pieces in here. So I'm excited to try these because I've been wanting to try a couple of these baits, and uh, now we can. So that's a pretty cool little box. It was the last one on the shelf, so I don't know if they have any more, but go check it out at the Exporting Goods. Pretty cool. All right, guys. So we're pretty much going to be using everything in that box, and uh, we're not going to do like a mystery tackle box slam kind of thing. 
Because I don't even think I can catch six fish out here. It's real tough here. And uh, the challenge will be catching one off of one of these lures in this box because it's real pressured here. But while we're on the water, I'll talk about some stuff, some lessons I learned when I was in the float tube last Saturday. And I made mistakes and lost fish. So we'll talk about that when they're on the water. Let's get these rigged up. I don't know what we're going to start with, but it's windy. Let's do it. All right, Pastor, so here's like a look inside the box. Well, I put some hooks in there and stuff. But we got those rage swimmers, that gurgle toad, the menace scrub, the rage crawl, the rage bug, and that ocho. So pretty cool. I got some hooks in here and stuff. We're going to probably swim that menace scrub on a swim jig. Got a strike gang grade swim jig right here it's pretty much what we're going to use today Let's see if we can catch some fish all right fredsters i don't know why but i forgot my chest mount i was uh had all my stuff in the truck to go tubing the other day and my chest mount wasn't in there so you guys are going to be on top of the head today hopefully it's not too loud up there Let's see if we can catch some fish we got the the menace grub on a swim jig and we got the rage bug on a regular jig so Let's go flip some of these tulies with the jig and swim that swim jig around the edges. See if we can catch something. Let's do it. I hope that angle is cool. I hope you guys could hear me. It's going to be a little windy, but this wind's blowing into this corner and it should be blowing bait into this. The only problem is it's real shallow here. So we're going to try to flip some of these tulies and see if there's any fish in there, but they might be out a little deep since it's so hot. If I can get untangled. So nothing too special, it's got my spinning rod with some braid on it, I think 35 pound braid on this little jig. We're just going to go over there and see if there's anything in these tulies. Probably stand out on this log right here. I'm going to try the point first. Found a whole bunch of jigs on this stick here, we got a... Oh, there was something biting it right there. There's a whole bunch of jigs on this stick right here. We came up. I was looking at that and something was biting it right here. Adam pressers in the reeds, told you guys. No, get out of that, buddy. Get me out of that stuff. Get me out of that stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, buddy. It's hot. I know. I know. First. Yes, sir. First one on the day. Look at that jig, though. Look at that jig, he swallowed it. Are we recording? Are we recording, guys? Look at that jig, choke that rage. All right, find the shade, find the bat. It's hot today, guys. Look at that, straight choked it. Beautiful fish, about two, pushing three pounds probably. That jig is just swallowed. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Let's see if we can get this out of here. There we go. Look at that rage, rage bug. Nice chunker. Let this guy go. Let's get back out here on this. Oh, yeah. See you, buddy. Nice. 
yes. That's all I can say. Is yes. I knew they were going to be in the in the tules. It's, it's really hot. There's not a lot of structure here. It's just real hard to fish these tules. And it's a pressured pond. Been here for about 10 minutes. That rage bug. That was real cool. I'm glad I had it on braid because he uh, he got me a little bit with that rage bug on that little jig. Did it. I'm already happy. I'm super stoked. First fish on the rage bug for me, and it was a nice one. Let's get back to fishing. Dun, dun, dun. You may claim your prize. We can still use that one. What about this guy? Nope, can't use that one. That one broke. No more snakes. I think I could have landed a new PB. I don't know how big the fish was, but he broke me off like butter. And I made a simple mistake. And I'm going to share with you guys today what I did wrong. I'm going to show you guys the clip of the fish of me losing the fish and tell you exactly what I did wrong because me watching my footage I know exactly what I did wrong and now I could adjust and uh, be better prepared for next time that's a good one that's a good one he broke me off right now hmm. alright so as you guys seen, as soon as I put my hand on the spool, that, that line just, it just snapped butter. I had my drag set right. He was taking line, digging. And me, I went to put my thumb on the spool to bring him. And uh, he just kept going, snapped me off like nothing. So that was a mistake I learned that you should not do. If I, if I had my bell open, then I could have used my thumb as tension, but I had it closed. All right, Fredster stopped the camera. Thought I wasn't recording, but you guys saw it. I, bop, I bumped that jig off a rock pile out there, and this little guy was out there. He hammered it, got that blue, that rage. Awesome. I'm gonna let this guy go, get back out there in them rocks. Now I know what I gotta do. Reaction strikes. So I hit the rock, he hit the jig. Let's do it. Bud. A little fatty, dude. Look at that. Look at that meat right there. That meat on his back. He's gonna be a stud. <laughs> I got a little dance from him. Cool. Let's get back out in the rocks. All right, Fedsters, wrapping up the day. We caught two more fish than I thought we would today. And uh, yeah, I got to fish some new lures. Got to try out that Rage and Perfect plastic kit we got from Dick Sporting Goods. And yeah, we got to use a couple new lures from Strike King that I haven't used before. And we caught our first rage bug, rage bug fish. And uh, that's pretty cool. And I also caught another fish on the rage crawl on the back of a jig. In a really cool way that I've never caught a bass before. So there's this rock pile out here in this middle of this pond that I was fishing. And usually I'll bump lipless crankbaits off of it and get that reaction strike. Well today... I was trying to fish that rock pile and I wasn't getting bit so uh, I threw it out there found the rocks and then started hopping on the rocks 
you guys saw I thought I wasn't recording so I stopped the camera when we were fighting the fish but you guys saw me bounce it and then he hit it so that was cool I got my first reaction strike true reaction strike on the jig on that little rock pile out there and uh, all in all I had a great day um, yeah we caught two more fish than I thought we would today so I had, I had an awesome time out here a couple hour little session not too bad at the pressured little pond I just want to say thanks for coming back to the channel I know I haven't been putting out too much content but it is what it is I'll see you guys next time have fun catch fish pressures.